Welcome, my Vice Astrology Tribe. This is Cosmic Insight Astrology. I am your co-pilot, Christina. Let's talk about the full moon in Libra today. What called the pink moon, egg moon, sprouting grass moon, it is in air, positive polarity, and cardinal modality moon, which means it will initiate changes. This full moon ruled by planet of Venus, what represents beauty, possession, attraction, and art. Venus recently resides in the sign of Pisces, where she is exalted. She loves to be here. It's like she is on vacation in the best place of her life, where everything is granted luxury, great food, great people, great entertainment. Also, the full moon takes place at 26 degrees, which is a Taurus degree ruled by Venus again. So it is truly ruled by love. The full moon itself is the first full moon after the spring equinox, which symbolizes Easter and catalyzing inspirational, visual, spiritual growth, because it happens right after the Jupiter and Neptune conjunction. A full moon is when the sun and the moon are in opposition. The sun is our outer life and the moon is our inner life, represents actually instinct, subconscious, and habits. This is a tug of war between the sun and the moon, the moon chasing the sun around and until they going to unite in heaven. So that's when new moon happens in the skies. And then after the moon run away from the sun and going to become in opposition, when a full moon, going to happen in heaven. Full moon in general releases old energies, energies that do not serve us anymore. On a personal level, you will know what you have to let go when you see where it's going to take place, which astrological houses actually for you. So for example, if it's happening in your 11th house, you might which is like social circle, friends, you might have to let go of some people, some friends who does not grow with you anymore. And you're going to grow apart. This Libra full moon will create a T-square with Pluto. It is a very hard aspect. So Pluto, the planet of transformation, destruction, elimination, regeneration, death. This will be a powerful opportunity to change and manage or struggle, a breakthrough, a commitment with our inner power. A fated blessing opens up, a magical portal since, you know, Jupiter and uh, Neptune also happened three days before, four days before, and this Pluto going to sextile with that Jupiter-Neptune conjunction. The 26 degrees, actually, it's a Saturnian degree also because two plus six in numerology, it's eight, and it's ruled by the planet of Saturn. At this moment, Saturn squares with North Node, actually, uh, in Taurus recently. I will indicate, it will indicate a change in our path, a change of direction in our life. And actually, it's indicate a long time commitment for us. Another configuration will take place on this day. Venus, the planet of love, which is rules this full moon, actually going to sextile with Uranus, the planet of independence, the rebellion, the unexpected, the future-oriented vision, the humanitarian. So this is a powerful and an absolutely divine energy. It can bring in a windfall of cash out of the blue, absolutely unexpectedly. 
it can also bring us extraordinary, very, very weird, different, talented friends and love. All right, right now I'm going to go through all the signs. And of course, I'm going to start with areas. So the full moon in Libra for you areas will take place actually in your seventh house of collaboration, one-on-one -on -one relationships. The sun is in your first house, will empower you to shine on your own. You will be able to let go of either your relationship or one of one business relationship, or perhaps just certain things in your relationship, but actually outgrown, outdated, and doesn't serve you anymore. Um, also, do not forget at this moment, Pluto is squaring with this full moon. So it will make you powerful to create this change in your relationship. And other aspects going to happen, and that's actually Mercury in Taurus will sextai Venus in Pisces. It will create an opportunity to sell your art or attract person to your life who can do a, be a networker for you or a writer or a motivational speaker. You can become alert and very charming. April 13th, the sun in Aries will sextile Saturn in Aquarius, and it will make you assertive and actually help you initiate a long time project. Mars also will enter Pisces on the 15th in your 12th house. So you can have some kind of trouble getting motivated actually and your willpower could evaporate. You can become moody and restless, dear Tauruses. This full moon will take place at your sixth house of daily routine, health, work. The sun will shine your 12th house, shining lights on some kind of psychological blockages, but need to be healed will create a T-square with Pluto in your third house. So communication therapy can be powerful motivation to change a bad habit. Mercury will enter your first house on April 11th and sextile beautiful, attractive Venus. And Venus going to reside in your 11th house. You will hold very high very high quality conversation with some kind of intellectual person or well-known people. Mars also will move into Pisces on the 15th. You rise to be a spiritual leader or become and have a leadership position. And your friends can help you actually to achieve your goals, your dreams, and they're going to inspire you in art and music. Gemini, the full moon will take place in your uh, fifth house of children, creativity, romance, investment. The sun will shine in your 11th house of long-term dream social circle. This will give you an opportunity to manifest a creative project or to adopt a child, letting go of something with your children, perhaps an activity that didn't suit them anymore. Mercury will enter 12 holes for on April 11th for you in Taurus. You will become mysterious and super intuitive. You will be able to interpret dreams or perhaps even break codes. Mars will move to your 10th house of reputation. You will have some exciting career news coming your way. You can also start to fight for the unprivileged or raise awareness for homeless veterans and initiate protests. Mercury will sextile Venus in the 12th and 10th house that will give you an opportunity to heal a speech issue, even if you misspoken before or heals your relationship with hidden enemies through your opinion. 
All right, Saturn and Sun will sextile in your 11th and 9th house, which can bring in long-term friendship with a foreigner or actually money from a foreign project. Cancers. Full moon will appear in your fourth house of family. You will make friends easily. Social events will become, you know, inviting in your life. Mercury via sextai Venus in the 11th and 9th house that can bring in a foreign husband, foreign wife, or a foreign friend for you. It can also support a long distance romantic vacation. Mars in Pisces, actually in the ninth house, will make you have motivation and desire to study or finish a higher education, get your master's. It can also make you fanatic about some religion. Sun and Saturn will sextile in your 10th and 8th house of career and transformation. Perhaps it is time for you to transform your career. You will take responsibility and will become more practical and initiate a change. You can get a leadership position in a bank or insurance company, create and buy your own funeral plot or even build a funeral home. Leo's. Full moon will appear in your third house of network, communication, writing, siblings, neighbors, short distance traveling. Actually, short distance traveling will be lovely and truly uplifting. A writing project need to be edited or going under a restructuring. Due to the Pluto square, it will become powerful after being adjusted. Mars will enter your eighth house in Pisces, so please be careful with water-related accidents, or even, you know, when it's raining and the car can hydroplane. Eight houses surgery and Mars could be some kind of knife surgical tools. So some of you will need to go under surgeries. Accidents with knives and guns are possible. Mars in eight will give you a powerful desire and very strong sexual charisma. Conflicts over inheritance, also possible. Sun and Saturn sextile in um, ninth and seventh house for you. So business travel or destination weddings are also possible. You can also attract an older, different religious background life partner for yourself. Mercury intense on April 11 will likely develop a high profile career for you, either in journalism or publishing, publishing your own book. It will sextile Venus in eight, so your written words can relate to reincarnation, death, pregnancy, rebirth, karmic love. You can become a spiritual leader and also a cult leader, your intuition gonna go really, really wild. Virgos. Full moon in your second house, values, resources, valuables. It will make you revisit your financial resources and let go that doesn't make security for you anymore, financial stability anymore. It can bring in an investor or someone who can help you to apply for a loan, perhaps. You can also have a payout date from a medical malpractice or getting some life insurance money. Mars enters Pisces on April 15 in your seventh house of collaboration and marriage. You might experience a fight with your significant other due to a spiritual value or maybe because of your significant others drink too much and can be passive aggressive. Mercury enters your ninth house. So your products, perhaps your intellectual project. Products can be sold in other countries. You can become a teacher who is traveling or getting a job overseas as a language teacher. 
Mercury will sextile with Venus on the, in the ninth and seventh house. So you will attract love, perhaps from overseas or a spiritual person or a different religion. One on the one on one relationship actually will strive and will become really, really loving. Saturn will sextile with sun in your eight and six house that will make you want to change your daily routine, your workout routines, and implement new dietary regimes. You will be willing to let go of toxic habits as well. Libras. Full moon in your first house of ego, self-esteem, habits. It will let you change and let go of toxic emotions and habits and build yourself up through a support of a significant other or a friend. It will shed some light on self-sabotaging tendencies and reinvent yourself. You will be loved and supported by your partner. Mars will enter your sixth house where you will start a new workout routine. It can be some kind of water sport. You will implement water, either be surrounded by water or drink a lot more water in your healing process. You can actually crave some kind of spicy drinks. Mercury will enter your eighth house of transformation. It will give you an intuitive mind and an amazing researching skills. Perhaps you will research about metaphysical subject, rebirth, and you know, reincarnation. Saturn and Sun will be sextiling in your fifth and seventh house. Uh, a romance can turn out to be a long-term relationship. So perhaps you're going to start to talk about marriage or you can also attract an older male figure or a mentor who can support your art or creative projects. Also careful with that because of a business relationship could turn out to be romance. So let's talk about Scorpios. Full moon in your 12th house of intuition, secret secret enemies, mental illness, spirituality, and art. You can shed some light on a self-sabotaging addiction and get rid of it. You will find out about a secret enemy, someone who you let close to before, and that person betrayed you. Mars in your fifth house can give you an energy to start a creative project. You can be also very involved with your offsprings, with your children. You can be also very impatient in competitive games. Definitely, you will feel sexy and charismatic. On a physical level, you need to watch out with heart-related issues, perhaps um, high blood pressure. Mercury going to your seventh house and sextile Venus in your fifth Great communication with your lover, long night talks, perhaps planning something permanent. Careful actually to attract, because Mars also in your fifth in Pisces, and attract someone who can be manipulative and aggressive. And uh, that person actually later on can turn out to be a stalker. Um, on the other hand, you will have Saturn and Sun Sextai in your fourth and sixth house. So you will be able to stick with a health routine for your family. Older members of your family can move in with you or some long-term persistent health situation of a family member will be healed. Sagittarius. Full moon in your 11th house of friends, aspiration, money from some kind of project. You can have a lot of benefactors who are willing to help to achieve your long time dreams. Some friends who do not grow with you need to go. You are cleaning out your tribe. Mars will enter your fourth house. So you will be assertive in a home project. You won't take no for an answer. 
Mars rules your fifth and twelfth house in nature chart. So you can start a home base, creative photography business or a movie project from home. One of your children can get in trouble with using alcohol or drugs if they are in that age. Mercury will enter your sixth house of health and work, daily routine, and sex tie with Venus in fourth. So are you ready to implement some healthy communication routine in your family? Perhaps uh, playing TV, you know, during dinner instead of everybody's looking at the phone. If you are an interior designer, it could be a great sign for a new project. A dog adoption, cat adoption, also possible. Or if your uh, animals are ill, they can get healed this time. Saturn and Sun will sextile in your fifth and third house. So a long-term project coming to fruition, maybe with written words or maybe creating your own website. So let's talk about Capricorn right now. The full moon will appear in your 10th house of career, prestige, and reputation. You will need to give in a little bit of work to spend more time with your family members. But your career looks great also. You can represent and fight for equality. Mars will enter your third house. So where you were quiet before, you will speak the truth now. Mars in third on a physical level can initiate some kind of sore throat. And you need to be really mindful with your words because radical honesty can hurt so many that not everybody is ready for the truth yet. Mercury in Taurus will enter your fifth house that will give you a sentimental, useful mindset. It will sextile with Venus in third that can indicate actually a cyber love affair. Sun and Sun, no, Sun and Saturn will sextile actually in your fourth and second house. And it will give you the phones to start or finish to build a house. Um, also, an older male figure can be a financial support for your family. Aquarius. Full moon will happen in your ninth house. You might have to let go of a long distance travel or a higher education. And you will need to pay more attention or smaller things, smaller travel, networking, writing, or getting licenses, perhaps before you can finish your education. But don't worry, this will pass on. So short distance traveling and work travel definitely will be supported this time. Mars enters your second house of income on the 15th of April. And it will create an opportunity to make more money. With the Neptune-Jupiter conjunction in the second can be related to artwork or oil business or stock market. Mercury will enter your fourth house and will sextile Venus in your second house. You can update a house, update it for sale, or get some kind of loan for renovation. Some kind of financial payoff will give some luxury and glamour to your home and living situation. You can redesign your garden and create a retreat in your backyard. And Pisces. Full moon is happening in your eighth house of other people, money, loan, transformation, intuition, pregnancy, death, rebirth. This can make you extremely intuitive and psychic. You can let go of previous traumas or perhaps grief will become dull. Maybe because you could connect or had a dream of your loved one who you lost and they made sure you know they are okay right now. Your material world is also under transformation. An investment could turn out to be not so beneficial. 
and you will need to move forward and find a different avenue. Mercury in Taurus sextile with exalted Venus in your third and first house. You might find and sign a contract with a modeling agency, or you can create jewelry, art, and sell it for great returns. You will be very sociable and very attractive and a great communicator. You can be an effective public speaker or writer. Mars will enter your first house and you will be an initiator and a go-getter this time. It's going to give you so much passion. You ready to take on to the world. Sun and Saturn will sextile in your second and twelfth house. Change of spiritual values are possible. Find a new faith. You will be able to heal or shed light on your unconditional fear, phobias, anxiety, and heal it permanently. All right, my loving, wise astrology tribe. If you like this video, please share, subscribe, like, or comment. I'm truly grateful for your you to be here and let me guide you on your spiritual journey. I forgot something and I have to mention that. It's still a lot of Piscean energy. And because of Neptune, you can actually start to implement in your daily routine uh, to take supplements like milk thistle or dandelion. I just made my first dandelion wine, which is kombucha. And it's amazing, refreshing at its head, you know, to, to heal the liver and detoxify the body. And also another thing, because this full moon is related to Venus, your heart chakra, and its color of pink, pink moon, you might want to wear rose quartz. And because of the Piscean energy, I would still use my aquamarine and amethyst. So... Thank you so much, everyone. Till I see you again.